Hello, today we'll be talking about using hazard services in practice mode on AWIPS. Now we'll talk hazard services, the next step in your training. Before you took this video, you should have already completed an introductory video of about three minutes. This video main purpose is to show you how to use practice mode in AWIPS for using hazard services hydro. The next step will be five modules, which most people in the office in operations have completed. That's introduction and the sections one through four of the Hydro IOC. The only person that needs to take these will need will be Ian. Everybody else, the above training is optional if you feel uncomfortable with taking the job sheets first. These would be very good refreshers. The job sheets are required by everyone as new items have been added and there have been some small changes since the beta version. The job sheets will take three to four hours on AWIPS using the VLAB reference job sheets. It took me approximately three hours for this training. This training will only be used in practice mode. When in practice mode, the perspective title bar, menu bar, etc. will be in orange. If these are in gray, then you are in operational mode, and please do not try to do the job sheets. If you cannot figure out how to get in practice mode, please ask Carl, Rick, or myself, or any other member of the staff who has already taken the training. Hazard services can be started in the Hydro, D2D, and GFE perspectives. Here's an example of starting CAVE with the Hydro perspective. Now we'll show an example of starting up the Hydro perspective in CAVE and how you should see it when you're doing your job sheets. So we get the AWIPS menu under Applications. If you'll watch it closely here, we'll go down to AWIPS menu and it will be selected. Then we go to the AWIPS startup menu and you notice we'll go down to the bottom of this, this menu and take the hazardous service test case. This will start up CAVE. Now CAVE will open up into the Hydro perspective because this is the last perspective I had when I last exited CAVE. It's a very good best practice to always close out of your D2D or K perspectives at the end of your shift and log out of your AWIPS so that you know where you're going, what perspective you're going to be coming back in and also that it will not be changed by someone else. So if you can see here through the steps, I'm actually taking a flash flood watch and then issuing a flash flood warning, tech, technically called the aerial flash flood warning. Uh, so just go through your job sheets to do your hydro. And these are the latter job sheets. And once you've completed those, uh, exit out of the program. Also notice we are in practice mode because look at the orange backgrounds we can see here. And down at the bottom, you see the GUI for the hazardous service console for hydrology. Next, we'll show an example of starting CAVE in the D2D perspective. Okay, now we will start up the K perspective in D2D. This starts up because I last exited D2D when I closed out of the cave. So I went back through the startup menu, the AWIP startup menu, and then down at the bottom GUI of the t uh, hydro test case in practice mode. You can see cable startup and we should see the orange background again. It will open up in a CONUS perspective, I would change that to WFO or state scale. Then to the right of the warn gen yellow button, you will see the hazarded service buttons. Clip on that and then the console will appear above for your products that are issued pending or even could be from surrounding offices depending on what you've loaded. Notice when you load settings, this one says hydrology all. If you wanted, you would select like hydrology non-river, so you could issue flash flood warnings, uh, flood statements for like urban type flooding or minor flooding. Uh, and then once you're through with this, if you have any questions whatsoever, please see your high, 
hazard services team to ask questions or if you want more detailed instruction you can ask for one-on-one -on -one training from Rick Carl or myself once you finish the job sheets please let the hazardous service team know that you've completed the training and do this via email to read Carl and Rick if you need help or guidance please see them and I'd like to thank you very much for taking this short training and good luck on the job sheets and for Ian also the five modules thank you and good day